Hello everyone, you are welcome to the seventh episode of the Manual Reinforced Concrete Design using the RCC Design Excel Spreadsheet. In this episode, I will be showing you how you can design a stair using the RCC um, template. So I'll be showing you how you can design a single stair, okay? Something like this, all right? Then I'll also show you how you can design the landing of this. So um, checking the template, basically there are two templates for that. You have the the single one and you have for multiple. So if you want to have multiple staircase, like for different, different story, you know, if you have like two stories, then you need to have more than one um, stair at each, each story. So if you want to design everything together, you can use the um, RCC 7 to 2. So in this case, let's just go to RCC 7 to 1. And let's see how we can use it. So it's just as we've been doing. So um, the FCU of the concrete, you need to put it. The FCU of the reinforcement, let's use 410, okay? And then the maximum aggregate size, that can be 12, uh, can be 20. And the cover, I would prefer a cover of 20, okay? Then this will be constant. The density of concrete is 24. The minimum reinforcement, let that be 12 and let the maximum be 20. Then the top steel, let it be recognized as Y. Okay. Now let's see the dimension of the stair. Now, A, what is A? A is basically the landing at the top over here. So what's the width of the landing? Let that be, um, let's say 1.2 meter. Okay. So um, what about B? B is the total length of the flight. Okay. That's the addition of all of the threads. So let's say my tread is equivalent to, let's say 300 mm. So I want to have like 10, so like let that be 3000. Okay, let's say 3000. Okay, so that's fine, I'll put 3000 there. Then C, what is C? C is the, you know, the landing at the bottom here. So I'll use the same thing, let's use, um. no, I think 1200 is too much. Let me use 900 also here too, let me use 900, okay. Then D, if there is any extension, so I do not want to have any extension. Also E, I do not want to have any extension. You can see the pictorial diagram, so that will help you to fix all this. So both D and E, let that be zero. Then for the going, you know, going simply means straight, okay? So I will use that to be 300, just as I said earlier. And then the rise, rise is you now from here up to this position. So let's say our rise is um 1.5. 1.5 meter okay because you know the landing from here is not a straight flight per se so um um rise let's use 150 that's half of 300 okay then the landing okay the thickness of the landing let the thickness of the landing be 150 okay then the waist let the waist also be 150 the waist of the flight and then the landing, the bottom landing, let that be 150 as well. So it is going to calculate the dead load of these three. So now let's see the loading, the imposed load, which is the live load, let that be 1.5. Then the finishes, mm, let's see there are a little bit of finishes. Let's say we have finishes of 0 0.2. And then on the landing as well, we have finishes, you know, there's some additional load due to the tiling and everything. Sorry, it can never be 9.2. I wanted to write 0 0.2 okay so we can have this then automatically it will calculate the reaction you know there will be a reaction at the top here and there will be another reaction here so that's like a simply supported slab okay because even this diagonal it will later calculate the area the plan area you know that's how we do it manually so it will calculate the reaction here and calculate the reaction here and then you can see the formula that it's used to i you know derive this so the reaction here is 23.2 and the reaction here is also 23.2 so that's you know a simply supported a beam and equally distributed load so that's fine now you can see the design then it will go ahead and do the design and then after doing all the design it says we should provide y12 at a spacing of 80 okay and then um that's for the bottom right then for the top it says you should provide you know 10 mm at the spacing of 200 okay so that is okay so you are done with the what's it called with the flight but you see that it has not really said anything about the landing okay so for the landing you can come here to landing so you see everything here in um is that purple color everything here in purple color it is unchangeable you shouldn't change it okay so you see here my concrete grade is 30 right let's try to reduce it to 25 
you see, I've reduced it to 25 here, right? So if you come to landing, by default, it will have changed to 25 because it knows that the landing and the stair, they are they are connected. All these parameters, you cannot have a separate parameter for the flight and you now decide to change it for the landing. So it will not accept that. Now for the landing, you realize that over here, I just placed the length, which is 900. I did not say anything about the, the width, okay? So in this case, we are concerned about the width now. You can see A and B. So the width, let me use one, two by one, two, okay? Then C, C is the space in between this. So that's basically the, um, the well, so I'll use that as, let's say, 150, which is equivalent to like six inches block. And then D, you know, basically your landing, we want to enter the walls. You know, maybe they are, this is supported by wall or whatever, or by beam. So if there is any extension, you put that. So let's say there is an extension of 125 at both ends. Then the depth, okay. So I use a depth of 150, okay. Then the the width, um, the width is still 12. So um, that is fine. Then it will go. Then you can put your imposed loads again. It finishes the flight, whatever. So at the end of the day, it will do the um, the design. It says you should provide twelve mm at the spacing of one fifty, and then here you should provide ten mm at a spacing of two hundred. So this is for the top, and this is for the bottom. So what about the deflection? The deflection is okay. So this is how you go about designing your, your stay. So um, let me show you for RCC 72, where you can do for multiple. I would not be, um, be, I won't really talk much on it, but I'll just show you how it is. So you can see that what you have here is still almost the same thing, but here you have um, several flights, you know. You have the stay at the bottom story. Then you have another stay at like another top story. Then another stair at another top story. So that's three stories. You can have maximum of three stairs designed at a at, at the go. So at once you can design three stairs together. So you can just put the span over here. So for each each stair, you know there are two flights. So for here you have one flight, you have another flight. So that's two. Here you have another flight, that's three. Here you have another flight, that's four. Here you have another flight, that's flight five. And here you have another flight. That's flight six. So you can input all the parameter for the flight over here. So flight one to flight six. So you go ahead and do that. So for the landing as well, you go ahead and do that. So you can see the landing. L stands for landing. So landing one, landing two, like, like that. Then for F, flight one, flight two, flight three. Yeah, so that's how you go about and you, you do that. So for the story, you put the height of the story. So like that, like that, like that. And then you put the loading. Then automatically, it will do the analysis and design for you so you can see how um comprehensive it is so um having this template is very nice um there are more templates in there but i i think i'll have to stop the episode of this of this template over here so you can also check for the rip slab for the flat slab for the um i think we still have more for the foundation where's foundation yeah foundation you have the basement you have the retaining wall you have the punching shear the crack width and then many more so you just explore all of them they are almost the same way you just need to put in your parameters and then you will analyze it so this will be the end of the uh, of the episode if you like the episode uh, make sure you give it a like and if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel kindly consider giving me a subscription